This video is one in a series of videos covering how to make a car body for automation, the car company tycoon game, from start to finish. In this video, I will make insets for the glass and trim around the glass as well. So let's start by taking a look at our references and figuring out how we want this to look. We are going to get into some advanced use of the shrink wrap modifier, using offsets to keep everything all squared up as we go. One of the things I want to consider is the plastic between the door and the quarter glass. I don't want to overcomplicate it, but I do want to keep in mind this section is a bit wide compared with the rest of the windows. Also, the quarter glass and the rear hatch don't have moldings, so I'm going to keep that mostly the way it is. I'm going to start with the side glass. I'll press 3 on the keyboard to get into face select mode, and then I'll select all the faces that make up the side glass. Now I'll press I to do an inset. I'm going to set the dimension in the action menu to 1 cm. This way, if I do more insets elsewhere, I can keep the dimension consistent. Now I want to smooth the edges. When I did the inset, I copied my existing sharp edges to the new geometry. However, I don't want it sharp, so I'll just set it smooth using my quick action menu. This can also be found in the edge menu here. Now I'll do an extrusion. Since I'm still using the shrink wrap, this is going to look like a disaster. But stay with me here, I'm about to do a magic trick. The first thing I'll do is set the depth of my extrusion to negative 1 cm. Now pressing 2 on the keyboard, I'll enter edge select mode, then while pressing shift, I'll deselect the edges running down the glass. Then I'll create a sharp edge around the circumference of the glass. Now pressing 1 on the keyboard, I'll enter vertex select mode, click on the object data tab, and I'll create a new vertex group that I'll name glass inset. A short detour. I'm going to redo the extrusion, but set it to negative 5 millimeters, as a full centimeter just looks too deep to me. I'm easily sidetracked. Before finishing off my extrusion, I'm going to add a bevel to the lip of the molding here. I'll select the edge in edge select mode, crank the mean bevel weight up to 1, jump into the modifiers tab, add the bevel modifier, Set it to weight. Set the width to 1.5 millimeters. And set the segments to two. Let's get into edit mode and finish what we started a minute ago. I'll select the vertices that make up the side glass, get back into object data tab, and I'll assign them to the glass inset vertex group, making sure the weight is set to 1. At the same time, I'll remove the same vertices from the shrink rack group. I didn't catch it on video, but I made a copy of the shrink wrap modifier, so now I have two. This time, however, I didn't apply it. Instead, I'll change the vertex group field to the glass inset vertex group and I'll set the offset to 5 millimeters, the same as the depth of the extrusion. Now my edges don't look sharp because I still need to activate Auto Smooth from the Normals menu in the Object Data tab. I'll set the angle to 91 degrees so anything at a right angle or sharper will be made sharp. Now I'll check the reflection. Brilliant, another win for non-destructive modeling. If I desire, I can change the depth of the glass or the sharpness of the bevel by simply adjusting the values of the modifiers rather than having to manipulate the actual geometry. Taking a look at, again at our references, I'm going to do all these same steps again on the windshield. This time it'll be a lot smoother. So I'll highlight all the faces, taking care to select the small faces I have in the upper corner of the glass. I don't want to miss them. Now I'll do an inset. I'll deselect boundary as I don't want this molding to run down the middle of the windshield and I'll set the thickness to one centimeter. Now I can do an inward extrusion. And set the depth of it to negative five millimeters. 
I'll remove these vertices from the shrink wrap group and then add to the glass inset group, making sure I have the weight set to one. Now I'll jump into edge select mode and select this edge around the molding. I'll set the edges to smooth, then increase the mean bevel weight to one. Checking our finished geometry. And now reflections. Sick. Back to the side glass. I'll do something about the thickness of the molding now. I'm going to select the vertices that make up the inside corners of the molding here, and I'll just move them forward, constrained to the Y axis. Checking reflections again. Now it gets a little tricky. I want to add a molding to the forward edge of the rear quarter glass, but I don't want a molding around the whole thing, so I can't just do an inset. Instead, I'll press K for the knife tool, and I'll make a cut through the seam to create some new geometry to use. Now I'll make some small adjustments inside the seam here. I'm going to manually insert a bevel here with Control B. I'll make sure it's a three-way bevel and matches the width to all the other seams. Now I'll merge the new vertices from the bevel with the vertices I lined up inside the seam earlier. And that'll do it. That's all the moldings I need for this variant. This will conclude this video. If you found it useful, give the video a like and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this one as they're released. See you next time!